Hi, I'm Sean Towers and this is your Santa Barbara Newswire update. A new vaccine for swine flu has just been approved for use and will be available in the first week of October. Since its outbreak in America and Mexico earlier this year, swine flu has become an increased health concern. As soon as the vaccine is available, pregnant women and people 24 years of age or younger are advised to be vaccinated as they are the most susceptible to come down with the flu. There are many concerns regarding the vaccine's effectiveness and how well it coordinates with its demand. By October, schools will have been in session for nearly two months. For now, schools are searching for short-term strategies to prevent the disease from spreading. It has also been reported that there will not be enough vaccines for its projected need. One third of Americans are expected to be affected by the disease. Also, in a recent RAND report, slightly less than half of Americans are willing to take swine flu shots when they can. That would be about 115 million Americans who would need the shot if it were distributed to that percentage. Over 6 million doses will be available for distribution in the first week. This is over twice the amount that was originally planned when the vaccine was announced. By mid-October, 40 million doses should be available as 10 to 20 million doses are arriving per week. Currently, the vaccine is still being tested to see how much is required to yield symptoms. Right now, the estimate is between one to two doses, but as it stands, the vaccine's impact is unproven and only time will tell how much it will really help. This has been your Santa Barbara Newswire update. Remember to catch Newswire right here on Channel 21 or check us out online at sbchannels.net. I'm Sean Towers and you've just been wired.